After nearly a year of traveling, the probe of China's first Mars mission Tianwen-1 finally landed on its destination of the Red Planet. Space exploration has remained a hot topic for decades. Besides Mars, the Moon is also one of humanity's top targets of interest. Is sending a probe to Mars more or less difficult than sending one to the Moon? Let's find out in this episode of Tech Breakdown. Firstly, the longest Earth-Mars distance is 1,000 times that between Earth and the Moon. As a result, it takes a spacecraft a couple of days to get from Earth to the Moon, but about seven months to reach Mars. The longer distance could create more problems with communication. When sending a signal from the Earth to the Moon, the communication delay is about 1.3 seconds. However, the delay time increases to about 20 minutes for Mars at its farthest point from Earth. Secondly, the launch windows for Mars and Moon missions are very different. If a spacecraft intends to rendezvous with a planet, the launch must be carefully timed so that the spacecraft will arrive in the planet's orbit just as the planet arrives at the same place. If a mission misses the launch window, it must be postponed until the next one. Lunar missions have more options. They have a launch window about once a month. For Mars missions, the launch window is very narrow. It only happens once every 26 months. The last window opened from July to September last year. Three Mars missions, China's Tianwen-1, the UAE's HOPE, and NASA's Perseverance rover were launched during that time period. Moreover, the rovers of Mars and Moon missions have different features in order to adapt to their working environments. The Moon has a night lasts about 13.5 Earth days. The temperature on the Moon can drop to as low as minus 200 degrees Celsius during lunar nights. The function of thermal control for lunar rovers must be strong enough to help them to survive the long, cold lunar nights. Unlike the Moon, Mars has an atmosphere. Although very rarefied, the atmospheric motion can lead to massive dust storms traveling at about 100 km per hour. Mars is farther from the Sun compared to the Moon. So in order to receive more sunlight, Mars rovers need to have a bigger wingspan and be able to adjust the angles of their solar panels to receive more solar power. During storms, the rovers are covered in dust and the amount of sunlight they receive drops dramatically. Thus, a sleep mode is needed for them to wait for the storm to pass. According to NASA, only about 40% of the missions ever sent to Mars by any space agency have been successful, lower than those to the Moon.